Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Waterpress. My name is Valerie. Today I'm extremely delighted to show you our new extension to the appointment booking plugin. Google Analytics for appointment booking will help you track visitors' activity on your website and monitor conversions. I'll walk you through the process of creating a Google Analytics account and then configuring the add-in settings. To gain your first insights as soon as possible. If you're new here, please make sure you've subscribed to our channel and press that bell to be notified when new videos are released. So, if you're ready, let's dive in. Before you start using Google Analytics on your WordPress website, it's essential to understand it and how it works. Well, Google Analytics is a powerful tool that monitors your site's activity while providing you with crucial information uh, to improve its performance. It offers detailed information about your website's users and the way they use your website. Before integrating Google Analytics into your WordPress website, you need to first sign up for it. It's a simple process and all you need is your Google account. So log into your Google account, go to Google Analytics and click on the Get Started Today button. Google Analytics welcomes us and I smash the Start Measuring button. From here, we are going to create our account. First, I'm entering my account name. And then setting the account data sharing settings. I won't change anything here and leave everything in place. Now click on Next. Then you'll need to create a property. Give it a name, select the time zone and currency. After that, you should describe your business by indicating the industry and specifying the number of, of the employees. Next, I'm choosing the business objectives. Now you will see the Terms of Service Agreement of Google Analytics. Uh, tick a checkbox and then click on the I accept button. Great! And now I'm going to choose from where I'll be collecting data. So I'm adding all the necessary details such as site's URL and the stream name. Once it's done, I click on Create Stream. Perfect. And now I'm all set with my Google Analytics account. Sure. Now we see this kind of warning about the Google tag. We will set it up in the add-ons settings. I'll show you how to do it with one click. By the way, existing users who don't need to create a new account can create a new property by heading to the admin section and navigating to the property subsection and click create property. Once you have created the Google Analytics account, step two is to install and activate the add-on. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New, Upload the new extension, Install and activate it. Please remember, to start using the new add-on, you must use Appointment Booking version 1.17.2 or greater. After activating, navigate to Appointments, Settings, Go for the Integrations tab and choose Google Analytics. Now I'll need 
to get back to my Google Analytics account to copy the measurement ID. Here it is. Copy it and then paste. As I promised, to set up your Google tag is a child's play and all you need to do is check this checkbox. Then we're going to create an API secret. We need our web steam details again. Uh, this time go to the measurement uh, protocol API secrets. You can see its key icon. I click the review terms button. I acknowledge. Now we're ready to create our API secret. Come up with its nickname and click Create. Done! Now we can copy the value. Great! The final step will be to insert the license key to get automatic updates and support. After that, don't forget to save changes. Our extension provides an automated way to send data, known as e-commerce events, from the appointment booking plugin to Google Analytics 4. Uh, the add-on gives you tools to measure the actions on the site, like when the visitors view the services, add or remove items to or from the shopping cart, initiate the checkout process, and finally, make a booking. To illustrate what I mean, I'm going to book an appointment with you. As always, I'm selecting a service, picking a date from the calendar. Once I select the date from the calendar and time slot, the booking gets added to a card. I've enabled multiple booking mode, which essentially turns my event booking flow into one similar to a shopping cart. As we see, uh, clients can book many events in one go with the help of the Add More Services button. It's also possible to remove this service from the list Next, I'm filling in personal details. At checkout, I'm choosing the payment method. After that, I'm finally hitting the reserve button. Perfect. Now let's quickly hop into the Google Analytics dashboard. When you first log in, you'll see that the home page summarizes overall traffic, conversions, and revenue for that property. Nevertheless, please note GA4 is not a real-time analytics tool. Some of the data gets processed and is only available after some time. To access the real-time report, go to Reports and then click on real time. The real time report is the only place where you can see data from your site visitors almost as it's happening. The real time report contains two sections. On the top of the page, there is an interactive map of the world. This interactive map shows where your users are, the bottom part contains six inside cards. The event count card resembles those e-commerce events I mentioned earlier in this video, such as view item, add to cart, uh, view cart, remove from the cart, begin checkout, purchase. And we also see the final goal on the conversions card. The purchase event, this is the completed reservation I've just made. Uh, this is a separate card to see the list of all purchases. But please remember, the real-time report shows events that happened 
within the past 30 minutes. One more important thing I should mention is that the purchase and refund events will be displayed only once in the report. Please keep this in mind. We can click view user snapshot in the top right corner of the real-time report to see a literal snapshot for a single user. Google Analytics 4 picks one random active user and shows you the activity stream. I must admit that the data comes with a slight delay. Besides a timeline, uh, the report contains a ton of data about the user's device, the app version, location, and relevant user properties. Besides the real-time reports, the navigation pane provides the link to the business objectives, and from here you can examine the commerce purchases, charts, and tables. Get the information concerning the user purchase journey. What's more, you might want to examine user's behavior by going to the events submenu and then convergence data. Now you're done with the integration process. You can use the basic features of Google Analytics, analyze basic reports, and set up goals. Furthermore, Analytics Academy. Uh, helps you learn about Google's measurement tools so that you can grow your business through intelligent data collection and analysis. Analytics Academy offers free online courses. Otherwise, you can hire a specialist in this sphere for more complex analysis and implementing more marketing tools. The choice is yours. Now you know how you can implement a comprehensive tracking system on your WordPress website. We hope this tutorial was useful for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you need any assistance, feel free to drop us a comment below. Follow us on social media. We are constantly sharing product news and promotions on Instagram and Twitter. We also have a community group on Facebook where you can meet new people, share your experience, or get support. So check it out too. Thanks for watching and see you next time.